Hey, good morning. This is Dave Cook, and I'm actually I'm, I'm inside my remote office here at the Sip Coffee on Scottsdale and Shea. So for those who are watching this video, you know where I'm going to be for the next four hours. Feel free to stop by. But, um, Monday morning, and um, I just thought I would take a moment to uh, continue my conversational thoughts on change. Um, as you know, the first time we talked, we talked about change and saying just by declaring, you know, something's going to be different. The thought process is, why is it different? And the motivation behind it and, and the emphasis that the motivation needs to really be something that drives you, that uh, changes your life or changes some uh, kind of way that things work for you that are not dependent upon others. And then the second uh, thought of the process is, okay, so um, uh, how's it going to be different? And the examples that I use is that, you know, better relationships with others, better conversations with others, better help for myself. Just a general overall view is that how is this, gonna, how is this change going to be different in your life? Well, today, the next step in the thought process is, okay, so now that I know what I'm going to do, and I also know how it's going to be different for me in my life going forward, the next thought is, what's going to be different? How is it going to be different? And this is, gets into more of the, the tactical activities, and it's very important to focus on those. And, uh, you know, the example that I'm, uh, jumps to mind right away for me is, is that when I did my 100-day uh, challenge seven years ago, and many of you know the story, the question was, that I need to do something to get control in my life. Because living in the chaos that I was living in isn't working for me. And that, that, was, that was the motivation. Okay, so then what's going to be, uh, you know, what's different, or how's it going to be different? I don't know, but I'm going to. Be, I need to be in a better place for me, where I have control of my life, where I um, strong for myself was the message when my son is present. Strong for my son when my son is present, even stronger for myself when he is not. And I was very clear on what I'm really focusing on is I'm working on developing a place for me to be emotionally, physically, spiritually, and psychologically healthier. And that was the, that's how is it going to be different? You know, and then, now the next question is, okay, so how is it going to be different? And the challenge was, okay, I'm going to ride my bike an hour a day for 100 days in a row. That's the task. I'm going to get on my bike every day for 100 days in a row. I'm going to ride for an hour. So now shift this to something else is that, you know, I made a, I made a decision, I don't know, like 80 days ago that I was going to, I just didn't like the way I felt about myself physically. And I was you know, looking at the scale and feeling the clothes. I said, you know, I need, I need to embrace getting healthier. I need to be in better shape. What does that look like? Well, I'm going to eat better. I need to be healthier. I'm going to exercise more discipline. I'm going to eat better. Okay, so how? What's different when you do that? And what I did was I made a conscious decision to cut out calories or um, cut out um, or in, and just be more disciplined in my ride. So I just basically said, okay, no whites, no sugar, no flour, no potatoes, no starches that are unhealthy. I'm allow allowing myself, you know, uh, those things. So it's like, what's different? What's different? I'm eating differently. No sweets, no snacks, no sugar, no flour, no um, uh, heavy starches, no rice, no potatoes, etc., etc. and those things. And then I, on top of it, I said, okay, what else is different? I'm going to ride my, I'm going to work out five days a week. And I made those things different. So those are the things. But the, the, the way that works for me isn't really as much the list. Here's my chore. You know, I've got like five or six things on my list, right? What it was is the motivation behind it. I need to do something for myself that says get healthier, be healthier. Next thing, so what does that look like? Well, I need to exercise more and eat better. What are, and what are you going to do then? Well, and then I made the list. And when you do those three things, we're going to keep going. But those are the first there's three steps in engaging in change. Because now this is really, you know, a lot of things I do, it's not about you and conversational. When it comes to changing your life, this, the laser beam focus on this thing is, it has to be about you. What are you doing for you that's going to change your life, that enables you to be feel, feel better, look better, engage better, have better relationships, whatever? The change starts with you. Change is all about you. We're not changing ourselves for somebody else. The payoff, they get a payoff. But the change starts with a commitment to us that says, this is what I'm going to do for me that I know that I need to do for me so that I can celebrate who I am, where I am, and the things that I've been called to do.
so when I, you know, back to that you know, notion of it, is the other thing that I've been really consciously working on since I went on, on vacation a couple weeks ago was riding with my, when I drove with my wife, this is I need to have a better relationship with her. What does that look like? What does it look like? It looks like I'm going to sit in a place where I'm going to listen to her and try to do my best to understand and hear her and her journey and the struggles and the frustrations that she has and the challenges that she has in her life. But what I'm focusing on is how, how I am listening. What's different? What's different is I'm going to listen. What's different is I'm going to listen better. What's different is that I'm going to uh, stop interrupting her with my opinions and my perspectives and my um, comments so that she feels finds a safe place of love and protection and stuff like that, that she knows that she can be who she is in her struggle and know that she has somebody that she can count on in her struggle. So I made it about me to create an opportunity for my wife. But the focus was, I need to have a better relationship with my wife. I need to do a better job of listening to her. And how I'm going to do that, what's different, is I'm going to stop interrupting. I'm going to stop judging. I'm going to stop criticizing. So anyway, I gave you some examples of this thing. So when you sit here and go through your thing, it says, okay, I'm contemplating a change in my life. Okay, why are you doing it? How's it going to be different? And then the most important piece is what's going to be different. And then keep it simple. But remember, all these things are about you. You're not doing anything so that somebody else will do something. You're doing all these things so that you can do something. And hopefully that will be something different, better, more improved, more loving, more giving, more experiential, increases the space for other people. Anyway. That's it. Look forward to talking to you again more. If you got any questions, let me know. Have a great week. It's Monday. Make things happen.